many people understand that they need good nutrition in order to be healthy uh, and that they need to exercise in order to keep their body fit. Few people understand the importance of sleep as the third pillar of good health. It is during sleep that many critical things happen for the brain. We actually remove toxins that have built up because of burning of energy during the daytime. And when we go to sleep, those toxins are flushed from our brain because the rate of flow of cerebrospinal fluid within the brain increases 20-fold during sleep. It is also during sleep that we integrate the new information that we have learned with information that we had previously learned. And that mainly happens during rapid eye movement sleep, which is a sleep stage associated with vivid dreaming. It's not just the brain that needs sleep, but even the body needs sleep. So if we don't get the sleep that we need, we increase the risk of cardiovascular disease. In fact, people who don't get an adequate amount of sleep at night have a 300% increased risk of calcification of the coronary arteries over a five-year period as compared to those who are getting enough sleep. As the price of electricity has dropped, our exposure to artificial light has increased per person by about tenfold, even over that 50-year period. And that increased exposure to artificial light essentially tricks the brain so that we've tricked the brain into thinking that dusk, instead of happening at 6 o'clock in the evening or 7 o'clock in the evening, is happening at midnight or later. So the brain is sending out a strong, strong drive to keep us awake at 11 o'clock at night, 12 o'clock at night, 1 o'clock in the morning, and that leads to chronic insomnia in many individuals. And in, in many others, they don't have insomnia, but they just can't sleep more than four or five, six hours a night because the surge for wakefulness that always precedes dusk is now occurring so late in the day.